You're still watching Ways Now. World Vegan Day is an annual event celebrated by vegans around the world every 1st of November. Mm. The benefits of veganism for humans and the natural environment are celebrated through activities such as setting up stalls, hosting potlucks, and planting memorial trees. Uti Elu, have you ever attempted to be a vegan? Why am I always calling you first? <laughs> Because you know she has something to say for us. Funny, funny enough, um, I've, I've considered it. So I'm probably not going to go as extreme as being vegan, but certainly cut back on my red meat. Um, also trying to cut back on my poultry as well. So I'm trying to go down the route of um, pescatarian, which just is fish and seafood. So I'm trying to do a lot more of that. Uh, I mean, being vegan is... You know, it's a bit extreme for me. <laughs> I think we've been raised in a ah. culture of meats. You know, if you haven't had food with some sort of protein, as we call it. It cannot work. Um, it you know, it feels very weird. It most... feels very odd. But, um, I mean, there are definitely the research shows there's a lot of benefits absolutely. to help to cut them back on your, you know, red meat and things like that. So, absolutely. I mean, kudos to all the vegans out there. It's just a bit extreme for me, right? <laughs> yeah. Isi, how about you? It's absolutely extreme for me as well. But I think a lot of Africans or those with African um, orientation. Uh, orientation or origin, mm. we do not actually look at that aspect of life. Basically, you know, staying away from red meat, staying away from things like that. It's true. I attempted true. to be a vegan. In it's case true. I, I did not say it. <laughs> I attempted to be a vegan for one week. <laughs> it's Just not easy. one week. I it's said, totally not easy. This it's not vegetarian, though. It's not going to be working for me. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. I think it's, I just like my chicken. I like my turkey. I like my well fish. Spiced. I like everything. So Absolutely. I can't do that. All right, Absolutely. so Isi, what did you find for us in the news? In today's news, you, we all know that uh, the president actually um, increased. Uh, this is good news, actually, in, in the midst of so much problem, so much pain in Nigeria currently, that the salary structure for teachers has been increased. Hallelujah. So, because <laughs> of this, happy. I'm so happy, but I'm not in the public space, I'm yeah. in the private space. So, we have um, new salary scale will attract best brains to teaching profession. This is by the TRC and um, registrar, uh, Professor Shegun Ajiboye. This is a, um, a step towards the right direction for mm -hmm. us because it will attract a lot of individuals who would look at the teaching profession not as that of um, a poor man or not uh, beneficial to them. And that will also help the children and the students to learn better because you have brilliant minds coming into the um, teaching space. And also, this will aid staffs in um, rural areas as well because we believe it or not, those in the rural area areas have suffered so much because mm. the teachers are not well equipped. They're not. They're not the best of uh, um, brains we have in mm. the rural areas. <laughs> so it's essential that you know when we have uh, an increment in salary, the teachers will go to the extreme to do what they have to do. Absolutely. Yes. All right, Uti. Do you have a story for us, or you just want to make a comment? Um, no, I don't. I mean, it's it's good to see. I, when I saw that story, um, as Lizzie was talking about it, and I thought, well, we're seeing some traction. Um, it feels like nothing is happening. It feels like a lot is said and very little action seems to follow it. So it's good to get reports like this. But again, the cynic in me says, is this just another article in the press and then nothing happens and then maybe six months down the line the teachers will all come out and say oh we haven't been paid as promised so, i'm holding on um, to that I straw know. i feel like do, do you feel do you, do you know what i mean you feel i like get what you feel exactly you know, yeah needed. exactly i understand um and and there's a lot of, of dis, distrust is it distrust or mistrust mistrust um, in these things that you read but i mean if any good can come out of what has happened you know sometimes now we have to consider some things as unconfirmed and let me not call it fake news unconfirmed news until it begins to happen <laughs> basically exactly all right so my, my story i and i, I completely agree with um uti you know i'm mm. hoping that this will not just be playing to the gallery and exactly. just say oh let us sound let us sound like we are doing, doing something. something yeah i hope not 
Mm. All right, so um, my story is, um, is in line with what we are talking about today, the social media bill. Um, it says the Nigerian Senate denies considering passage of the social media bill. You know, because there had been a lot of uh, um, opera, opera uh, within this week where people were coming out to say, do not let them, you know, it's about to go into. So mm -hmm. um, the, yesterday, uh, on the 30th rather, the Senate um, in Abuja described as false the report making the rounds that it was considering passing the contentious um, social media bill. Rather, the upper chamber said the passage of the bill was not its card at the relevant, uh, as the relevant committee had yet to complete necessary legislative work on it. Okay. You know, so uh, we're hoping that, you know, this is true because the, Senate, the, the, the report that the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is to pass the social media bill despite rejections by Nigeria is false mm -hmm. and a lie concocted to ridicule and tarnish the image of the Senate. That's fake what news. they are saying. So they said it's fake news. <laughs> uh -huh. So because we are, we are discussing fake news today, I mm -hmm. thought to bring it out that they have said, though, mm -hmm. that they are not, to, you know, but we don't know. But it know. has passed the first reading, though. Second, actually. Oh, Uti, really? did you were you aware that it has passed the second reading? So, so I even now got confused because, to be honest, there's so many bills. So I was trying to put it in context. I was trying to figure out some sort of chronological mm -hmm. order. Um, order to which these things have come out because I know we refer to it as a social media bill, but there is. Um, I think the first report I saw was in 20, it was the, the frivolous petitions bill, um, again, yeah. social media bill, and that was introduced in 2016, and there was all the kerfuffle then, and that, that sort of went away. Then we got to 2019, 19, yeah. and the president declined to sign the digital rights bill, so that got to the level of assent, um, and that was supposed to be protecting our rights um, on the internet. So that sort of came and went, it didn't get signed, and so I was trying to say, okay, what is the social media um, bill in itself? And then you come around to um, what what we're calling, uh, and this is where my confusion came in, because there's the hate speech bill, mm -hmm. which is different from the false interpretation, false... Um, Manipulation uh, bill. The, the false, inter false in falsehoods uh, bill. So mm -hmm. I started to get confused because I thought, why are there so many different things? So even I was struggling to get it straight. Mm. as to there is the hate speech bill which is separate which is called the national commission of prohibition of hate speeches and that's the one that um was talking about the the life imprisonment and death penalty do you remember when that was was yeah. going on last year yes um so there's that um and then the social media bill is different so the social media bill is the um protection from internet falsehoods and manipulations i had that's what i was trying to remember mm. exactly. so they're two separate bills so even i was getting confused as to which is which because I think people sort of inter like, mix them up when they're talking about it. So the hate speech bill is separate. Um, and then this protection from internet falsehoods is also separate. So mm -hmm. the protection from internet falsehoods is the one that we're, is, is referred to as the social media bill. Okay. Um, yeah, and, and that speaks to the, the fake news and, and all of that. And so, I mean, as we, as we go through the conversation today, I think it will become a bit clearer. Maybe it will become me, a bit clearer, that yeah. That was the first confusion. Like, it seems like you're trying to just put all these things out there to bamboozle us, right? Absolutely. Um, but there's some clarity that I think that we can give our viewers. Absolutely. Today. Absolutely. All right. So, we will take a short break. Like we said earlier, today we're discussing um, the um, fake news and the social media bill. And we have Dr. Fumilayo um, Harvey. He's here to discuss this with us. But first, let's take a break. We'll be right back. Thank you. 